Hello, everybody. Welcome to Three Point Perspective, the podcast about illustration, how to do it, how to make a living at it, and how to make an impact in the world with your art. I'm Jake Parker, and I am flying solo today. It's actually spring break here at uh, Three Point Perspective, and I've been taking some time off. Will's been taking some time off. Lee's been taking some time off, but we did want to put out a little like spring break mini episode that I'm just going to kind of wing on my own. (laughs) Okay. Uh, One thing of note first is that uh, next week we're celebrating our 200th episode. (laughs) If you can believe it, we've done 200 of these and uh, we're going to do a live stream. So you could join us live on YouTube and um, just be a part of our 200th episode extravaganza. It's going to be pretty low key, uh, taking your questions, talking, um, and it should be should be fun. We just kicked off last week or two weeks ago our self publishing pro course, and that's been going really well. And lots of cool people, uh, you know, in the discussion group and seeing some amazing like projects starting to come to life. And on the Discord, um, somebody asked a question. And it was like, how do you, what, what's a must to survive in business? And I took a minute to kind of give my response to it. And I typed it out and I thought I'd just share it here with you guys as well, because I think it applies to a lot of us artists trying to figure out how we make a living doing this thing. Um, and I think the key thing for artists uh, or anybody in a creative profession is that you you got to have intentionality in everything that you do. And there's a lot of times, and I've done this a lot of uh, during my career, was kind of just, um, you know, how like water flows down a hill on the most easiest path it follows, right? Like if, if there's an obstruction, it'll just go around that. And that's kind of how I approached like, oh, here's the, here's a little easier way to go. I'm going to go that way. Here's, Here's, um, you know, here's a nice little trough that I could go down. I'm going to go th- go that way. I'll, I'll, I'll avoid this big boulder. And the problem with that is, is you're just letting like gravity be your inertia and not your not being in charge of where you're going as an artist. So being intentional, right? Um, and how do you get there? One of the things I find myself doing now, because I'm way more intentional now, one of the things I find myself doing is I'm always asking questions. And this is what you should do. Always asking yourself questions. Like if you're, if you're making a book, ask yourself, why am I making this book? Or if you're posting on Instagram, ask yourself, why am I posting this on Instagram right now? Or why am I answering emails instead of working on my book project? Or why am I working on my book project instead of answering emails? And every time you're asking those questions, honestly answer like, you know, is, is, uh, is the reason I'm doing email right now is because I'm behind on them and I actually do need to get back to people or am I doing it as like a a procrastination tool to like avoid real work that's hard that I should be doing. So every minute of your day should be intentional and you should be thinking about that. Um, you know, even if it's just a break to mindlessly scroll through reels on Instagram, just ask yourself, like, why am I doing that right now? Um, and it might be that you legitimately need a break and you, you might just like, that's the thing that you need in order to stay creative long-term for the day. Or you might realize that now you're actually being distracted from important work. So asking that question helps you put your phone away. So the, I guess the other big question, though, then is how do you get to be intentional? Like, how do you know what questions to be asking yourself? Or not, not only that, like, how do you know what answers to those questions that you should be asking yourself? And so really how you get there is you need a mindset framework around your business to always fall back on when you ask those questions. And the framework is usually built like this. And it's I think of it as like a... Like a, a a pyramid, right? And it's your your business mindset framework pyramid. And at the very bottom, like the base of this pyramid that everything is um, is built off of, is your habits, like your your daily habits that you um, that help you practice your work, right? On top of habits, the next layer is schedule. So 
when you do the things you're supposed to be doing. On top of schedule is strategy. Okay, so strategy is how you're going about doing the things that you should be doing. On top of strategy is goals. So goals are um, the the reason for your strategy, like what your strategy is is getting you towards, right? Now, on top of goals, and this is how you know what goals you should be having, is your vision. And on top of vision is, the, the vision is really like, the, the what you see yourself doing and how you do it. And on top of vision, what really gives you vision is a mission. And the mission is that very pointy part of the, of the pyramid. Okay. And it's those, those, that pyramid right there that helps you realize the answers and being more intentional when these questions are asked. Right. So let's break down what each one of those things is. A mission is the highest level thinking about what you want to accomplish with your business. And it answers the questions, uh, who do you serve and how do you serve them with the skills and the resources that you have at your disposal? And the more specific you can be about that, the better. So for example, I'm going to just have an example business and it's sort of based off of what my friend Jed Henry does and he sells art prints. And that's the majority of his business is art prints. And then he also sells like t-shirts and pins and things like that. Um, but I love this guy and I love the business that he's carved out for himself and he's very successful and he, whether or not he's actively doing this pyramid thing, it shows in the work that he's, that he's doing. So for his mission or a mission like what he's doing, it would be, I want to make beautiful prints for the living rooms of millennials based on pop culture references from their youth. And if you look at the prints that he does, that's, that's what they are, right? It's, he's taking, um, uh, he's taking Mario and he's taking, uh, Metroid and he's taking, you know, these classic video games and anime like Pokemon. And he's doing very classical Yukioe style Japanese woodblock prints from them. And they look really cool. You know, it's kind of a tasteful way to like express your fandom. Um, okay. So that's the mission. Make beautiful prints for the living rooms of millennials, right? It's how do you, uh, who do you serve and how do you serve them? Now, the next thing is vision, okay? And this is all about what you want your lifestyle to be. So, for an example, um, if I was going to do the similar business like that, uh, my vision would be I want to make a comfortable living by working 30 hours a week on my business with 10 hours a week devoted to research and development, right? So 30 hours would be fulfilling orders, designing new things for um, for the the prints or, or the, um, uh, you know, really preparing and going to conventions and selling them there and getting my web store all in order and doing my email list and making a YouTube video or whatever to get people to know about the prints. And then, you know, 10 hours of the week would be like, let's develop new projects. Let's develop an, a new pin set or let's develop a new, um, you know, print series or something like that. So that's the vision. How do you want your lifestyle to be? And then it, it could not, you know, it could be more than just the business part. It's like, and then the rest of my life, I want to get good eight hours of sleep every night. I want to be able to go on a, a couple of nice vacations every year with my family. You know, you have, you set your vision as your North star and you set your mission. Your vision is like your lifestyle North star and your mission is like what you want to accomplish with your business North star. Okay. All right. So how are you going to get there? The next thing is goals. And these are specific deliverables and milestones needed to fulfill your mission. So for example, um, how I'm going to accomplish this vision, how I'm going to accomplish this mission is I'm going to create two new print designs every month. And I, my goal is to make 50 $100 sales a month. Uh, so I get about $5,000 a month. And then my next goal is to grow my email list to 2000 subscribers. And, and those are like these, these, again, specific deliverable milestones, right? So now you've got your goals in place. Next thing is strategy. How are you going to accomplish those goals? This is where you figure out, you figure out like all the steps, the tactics and the things that you're going to need to do to, to get to that $5,000 a month level or the 2000 email subscribers, right? So for example, 
I'm going to create work in progress Instagram reels. Uh, this is my strategy. I'm going to focus on reels. I'm going to show all the work that goes into my designs so people are really interested in the process. Um, maybe I'll have polls to see what pop culture designs people would like me to do, right? Uh, maybe I'll, I'll make incentives to get people to join my email list, like um, take that pop quiz to see what, you know, if you know everything there's to know about Pokemon or something, right? And, and people want to prove that they're cool and, and, and they know everything about Pokemon. And so they're going to take the quiz and, you know, get the, get the answer in an email. Now I have their email and then I could sell them the, the art prints. All of that's kind of strategy stuff. Okay. Right. So how are you going to, how are you going to accomplish that strategy? Well, you need a schedule. Okay. This is the next layer in the pyramid. And this is breaking down how and when you'll implement the strategy. Okay. And really this is, uh, all about just organizing your time wisely. So Mondays, through, this would be an example. Mondays through Wednesdays, 8.30 to 12.30, I'm going to work on designs. 1.30 p.m. to 2.30 p.m., I'm going to do administrative work, like answering emails, uh, updating the web shop, shipping orders, whatever. Uh, 2.30 through 5.30 every day, I'm going to focus on marketing. That's when I'm going to make and schedule social media posts. I'm going to write my newsletter. Okay, then Thursdays, it might be something like, uh, I'm just going to illustrate all day on Thursdays. And then Fridays are going to be my research and development day. I'm going to go to the library. I'm going to go to a bookstore. I'm going to go to a coffee shop and just sketch and plan and research and, and figure out what people want next. So that's schedule. All right, now, how are you going to accomplish that? How are you going to maintain that rigid schedule? It comes down to that bottom layer, and that's habits. And this is where you nail down the specific habits you'll need to hit that schedule. So... For example, my phone stays in airplane mode from 8.30 to 12.30 every day. And that's to allow me to focus on those specific tasks that I have to do in that morning. That's a habit thing. Um, another habit thing would be I'll go to bed every night at 10 p.m. Uh, so I can get a full night's rest. Uh, I'm going to leave out my work clothes by the closet to remind me in the morning that I'm going to work out from 6.30 to 7.30 every morning. And seeing those work cl workout clothes, um, uh, you know, sitting there in front of me when I wake up, it's, it's already that decision's made for me. And, and I know I have to put those on and, and go work out, right? How hard I work out, that's up for a different, you know, that's a, that's a different thing. But the fact that I showed up to work out is a habitual thing, right? So it comes down to habits. Um, so going back to the questions and asking yourself every day, every minute, what you're doing, you know, for example, you're posting a reel on Instagram, ask yourself, why am I doing this right now? Once you have this framework, this pyramid in place, you could say, well, the reason I'm doing this right now is every Friday I carve out this 30 minutes to make and post a reel so that I can get one more person to be interested in joining my email list or so that I can sell a print that will make their home a more vibey place to be. And at the same time, I can reach my goal of 50 sales this month to help me pay for my rent. Okay, so that's like your answer to the question, why am I posting a reel right now? Now, do I do this all the time? No, but I should. Uh, but I, you know, I am trying to get to that point where it is a constant... Um, question and answer uh, at every point of the day. I, I'm, I've been really good about um, writing down, like sort of allocating how my time is spent, but I'm working on the whole pyramid thing. Like all of us are a work in progress and I have this pyramid somewhat figured out. I have my mission somewhat figured out. So don't feel bad if, if your, your pyramid is like a bunch of blocks <laughs> that are still being put together, right? The key is to just start and chip away a little bit every day and try to just get 1% better, right? Every day you're just, oh, I did a little bit better than I did yesterday. And what you'll see is over time, over a year, over two years, over five years, you're going to find yourself in a much different place than you were before. All right. That's all. I'm, that's our spring break message. Something to think about. Tell me if you like these little um, Jake rants that I, not, I guess this one to rant. This is like a Jake deep dive, I guess. Um, and if you want more of these and, and if we could just get rid of Will and Lee and, and have it be a solo show, tell me if that's something you want. Put it in the comments. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
We're not getting rid of them. As much as we want to, we're not getting rid of them. All right. Um, thank you for joining us. Three Point Perspective is made possible by SVS Learn. We're becoming a great illustrator starts. And your hosts are uh, normally Will Terry, Lee White, and myself, Jake Parker. Every once in a while, we throw in Anthony Wheeler. He's, I've been, oh, I think he's been on us three, four times now. Probably see him some more in the future. Podcast produced by Daniel Two. That's Daniel T.U. Special thanks to our keeper of the curriculum, Austin Shirtliff, our show notes wrangler, Lily Howell, our chief operations officer, Lisa Fott, and our illustrator, Annalise Black. Now, go draw something. <laughs>